right, as you can see, we're getting ready to do a transmission swap on Project Chevelle. We're gonna get rid of the Saginaw that was in there and um, put a Tremec TKO 600 behind it, something that's actually gonna hold the power. Uh, and also, we're gonna road trip this thing. Uh, we wanted an overdrive. It was very important to us that it, it kept its three pedals. You know, putting an automatic in it just seems sort of contrary to the whole spirit of our arrangement here. So, uh, what we've got here is a, a Tremec TKO 600, uh, five speed with an overdrive. You built the kit, what can you tell us about it? Yeah, we uh, assembled some components here. We had, took some advice from Tremec as well as uh, Diedrich Motorsports. These are some components they've been using together for years, so they know that it's a pretty good combo. Um, we won't have to be scared to, to sidestep the clutch or do anything kind of aggressive driving that we would like to do with the, the larger motor we're putting in it now. So we've offered the crate automatic transmissions for a while and, and this is kind of a playing catch up here to make sure that we have some offerings for the, the three pedal guys as well. And these TKOs are great. We love them. Um, they're a little simpler to put in than a lot of the T56 stuff. Right, yeah, it's a smaller package, you know, same bolt pattern as a Saginaw or a Muncie, so they, they bolt in a little bit more readily. You know, it's going to make this car a lot more fun to drive. Yeah, a lot more positive shifts, and, right. and uh, you know, right now we're in the 15 to 18 second shift range. This should, should cut times down a little bit on that, so. Well, I suppose you should get to work. Yeah, should be a fun day. Everybody, quick check in on Project Chevelle. I'm over here installing the clutch master cylinder set up from a cloud. Uh, Joe's over putting the flywheel and clutch onto our 383, getting ready to drop the engine in. Uh, this has been a sweet little kit so far. It bolts to the same four bolts that hold your booster or master cylinder on and just mounts the angle of the clutch master cylinder pointed right at our new pedal here that's set up for it. Uh, of course, the hydraulic uh, clutch setup is going to be way easier with the the new transmission, it's going to give us that nice smooth pedal feel the whole way through and uh, also make it a lot easier with the higher spring pressure clutch. So uh, smooth little kit, it's all bolting on well. Had to cut a little pieces of metal, a couple pieces of metal out of the way here to get everything lined up just right. But nothing out of the ordinary and not really butchering the car. So I've uh, been happy with it so far and I'm getting dirty so we're getting something done. What we're doing here is setting up the clearance on the hydraulic throughout bearing. Uh, you know, if you have this thing positioned in the wrong place, then it may never disengage, it may never fully engage the clutch, it just do all sorts of bad things. So what they call for is the distance between the face of the throwout bearing and the clutch fingers to be between 150 and 200 thousandths. Uh, and what we're using here is this Speedway Motors setup tool. And I've already done the, the bell housing side. You put this up against the bell housing. This reaches in and touches the, the fingers on the pressure plate. And then this, this little O-ring basically marks your bottom. And then you can hold it up this way and to the face of the transmission, because obviously this is the face where the, it's going to bolt to the bell housing, and push this, push this little rod in and uh, to the face of the throwout bearing and then that distance basically between the, the this here and the bottom of that o-ring is your your clearance what I'll typically do is get it close with this you adjust this uh, by putting these tapered washers in behind here and I'll typically get it close with this and then verify my measurements with a, a straight edge and a, a caliper and that way you can kind of you can be a little bit more precise with it the thing to remember when you're doing it this way is to subtract the thickness of your straight edge. If you don't, you'll be all screwed up. What we've got here after I've worked this all out is exactly 150 thousandths. So um, this should be about ready to go. We gotta hook up our fittings for the bleed and for the, the pressure from the master cylinder. And we're just about ready to go in with this.
right, so we're here at Customer Appreciation Day at Speedway Motors. Um, this is our car show that we're having this year to kind of say thank you to all of our customers. And we got the Chevelle going, you know, in time for the show. Uh, the new 383 and, and Tremec transmission is in there. And uh, Joe was one of the ones who worked on it all week to get it done, so. Yeah, we, we thrashed all week to do the, the engine transmission, get them in, and then button everything up, get the clutch to work. Uh, it's all a new fuel system with the, the in-tank pump. Um, and, and with the shifter on the floor now, you know, this morning driving it down here across the parking lot was the first time we've, we've driven it at all. And I mean, it's a totally different car. It makes a bunch of racket, there's no exhaust on it. Uh, you can actually shift it. It actually, it actually acts like a hot rod should. It's a muscle car now. Right. It doesn't just look like a muscle car, it is. It's got 420 horsepower under the hood. Right. Yeah, we're pretty, pretty excited. It's like, it's like an all new car. All right, stay tuned. We got a few loose ends to tie up before our road trip and it uh, should be a lot of fun.